Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what will happen when you click on a disabled button? Let me answer. Using Selenium, if you click on a disabled button, what will happen is a question. Nothing will happen, guys. Okay. But first of all, what is a disabled button? Let me show you practically. I'll take you to one application, sample application, omea.blogspot.com. If you scroll down, here there are two buttons. This is enabled button. The button that you can see visually and uh, looks like enabled, right? It is enabled button. Whereas this button is a disabled button. Whether it is a button, it is a text box field. What will happen when you click on such kind of disabled items? It can be a disabled checkbox field also. What will happen if you perform a click operation using Selenium on this disabled buttons or items or elements? Nothing is going to happen. No error is going to occur, but uh, there is no use. Basically, we can say that there is no use, okay? No use of clicking because a disabled button won't be clicked, right? No use of clicking. It is unnecessary waste of time. But on the other end, even though there is no, no use of clicking on that disabled button, but uh, Selenium is not going to give you any error or exception, okay? So no use of clicking, nothing will happen. No error or exception will occur. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this uh, Eclipse ID where we have the sample project. Here, I'll be writing some Selenium automation code. Okay, this project is already configured with Selenium library, so I can directly write. Web driver driver is for new. Chrome driver like this, I can write. Okay, put a semicolon. Hover the mouse on this web driver and import this web driver from... So if you are not getting this import statement properly, say fix project setup. Okay, inbound. Maybe Maven dependency Selenium is there. Yeah, Selenium is there, but still it is not coming somehow. Over the mouse on this, am I getting anything? Yeah, now I am getting something. Let me import it. Okay, just select. So uh, it very very rarely happens this kind of problem. Uh, otherwise, you'll directly get an import statement over the mouse. And uh, web driver only, right? Okay, fix project setup. Okay, no proposals. What's the problem? Okay, I'll change the Chrome driver for a while because some problem, some problem is there in this project. That's okay. So driver dot. Uh, okay, manage dot window dot maximize. Okay, and then uh, driver dot get then in this i'll give this application url done after giving the application url i would like to click on this button okay right click inspect this button which is in hidden mode the html code for the hidden button will come below it has an id copy this id locator of that uh, hidden button driver dot uh, find element by dot id locator of that hidden button i'll give it here and simply say dot click Let's see whether this click operation of Selenium will click on this hidden button. Yeah, there is no use, guys. Okay, what's the use of clicking a hidden button? So if you get this kind of interview question, you have to say that there is, first of all, there is no use of clicking a hidden button. Uh, but if you still try to click, okay, click on that hidden button using Selenium automation scripts using the click command, you are not going to get any error or exception. Exception. Basically, there is nothing going to happen. Okay, so like that, you have to answer the question. Run this part and see that uh, you will not get any exception or error in the output. And uh, button won't be clicked, right? Nothing is going to happen, basically. You see, it has clicked on the button, but nothing happened. Okay, you see, there is no error or exception here. So, hope guys, uh, you understood. Uh, the answer for this question with practical demonstration. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.